we are going to see which is small and which one is large which is small and which one is large so i have two numbers minus 2 and plus 1 sir so which is which one is large and which one is small we need to check first for that i want a number line 0 minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 minus 4 1 2 3 4 so i just want to represent the two values on the number line here minus 2 and plus 1 remember one thing when we represent the numbers given numbers on the number line which is on the right side that one is the greater one which is on the right side of the number line that is the greater one so now check minus 2 is here and plus 1 is on right of minus 2 so 1 is the greater one and minus 2 is the smaller one okay 1 is the greater one and minus 2 is a smaller one now i just want to represent these two numbers here minus 6 minus 4 on the number line i have a number line 0 1 2 minus 3 minus 4 minus 5 minus 6 i'm representing minus 6 on the number line minus 4 on the number line now just check which one is right side of the num right side rightmost numbers eh? minus 4 minus 6 on left side and minus 4 is right side of minus 6 so by this we can say that minus 4 is a greater one than minus 6 minus 4 is a greater number and minus 6 is a lesser number a rightmost number on the number line should be a greater one in integers okay and now we are going to add the integers okay without using number line 4 plus 3 these two are also integers so 4 plus 3 is nothing but 7 the same number 4 plus of minus 3 sir 4 plus of minus 3 now when we are going to add or subtract the integers you just remember plus into minus is minus minus into plus is minus minus into minus is plus plus into plus is plus okay you just remember this minus plus into minus is minus minus into plus is minus minus into minus is plus plus into plus is plus okay why i'm saying this means this is a main of formulas we are used going to use in that addition or subtraction or multiplication any of the integers okay you just blindly remember if both signs are same we are going to have a positive positive number if signs are different one is plus one is minus when we multiply those two we are going to get a negative number when both signs are same either positive or negative when we multiply both the numbers we are going to get only the positive integers okay now see here four one is plus and another is minus plus into minus 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 three that equal to four minus three one okay now i'm going to see another one minus five plus of minus two okay minus five plus of minus two so i have minus five here plus into minus minus only minus two when i'm adding the two numbers with the same sign when I'm going to subtract or when I'm going to add two numbers with the same sign, just blindly add the values. Add the values. 5 plus 2, 7, sir. And uh, you just uh, give the same sign which they have on the answer. Minus. So, minus 5, minus 2 equal to minus 7. Like the same plus 5 plus 2 is there 
so when we have the same signs we just blindly add the values 5 plus 2 7 and the same sign I'm going to subtract the integers subtract the integers I just want to subtract minus plus 6 minus 3 7 so when we have two opposite signs we just blindly subtract 6 minus 3 3 and which number have the greater value and its sign will come in the answer so here 6 is a greater one its sign is positive so answer is positive I just want to subtract these two minus 6 and minus 3 the both signs are same so when signs are same just add the values blindly so value is 9 6 plus 3 9 and uh, we have the negative sign so the negative sign come in the answer I just want to subtract 6 minus 7 6 minus 7 so opposite signs blindly you just subtract the values so 1 is a value 7 minus 6 1 okay the 7 is the greater value and its sign is negative so minus 1 is the answer this is about subtraction now here we have the challenge of the day so that is nothing but you have to add minus 5 plus of minus 3 equal to what and uh, minus 5 minus of minus 3 equal to how much and uh, minus 5 minus of plus 3 equal to how much okay these questions you have to solve and you have to write the answer on the comment section okay thank you